Hi everyone, it's Darren here from Office Express. I uh, just want to talk to you about the meter reads for uh, Lexmark, Toshiba, and Konica Minolta products. I uh, just want to go over real quick how to get the counts from your devices. Um, you'll probably notice uh, you, lately you've been getting more phone calls for the uh, from the staff here at our office to find out what the count is on your device for the, the maintenance. Uh, there's been a lot of issues with providers like Bell, Rogers, Google, um, blocking these emails as possible spam, and uh, that's part of the reason why we're not getting them on a, on a regular basis through the digital email that uh, is causing this problem. So I just want to show you guys how to get them if they are calling looking for it. I'm going to start off here with the uh, a small Lexmark printer and M1145. This is probably the, the one that takes a little more difficult to get, but you can see here on the screen, uh, we'll go into settings, so you just a matter of scrolling down. So we go into settings, and then once in settings, go to reports. And inside reports, actually, if you go up instead of down, it's quicker. You'll see asset report. So in that asset report, is what's going to give you your meter count. So basically if you print that report off and send it to our office, that's exactly what they're looking for. So that's an M1145. <clears throat> On the multifunction devices, the M3150 or XM1145, XM3150, all the newer series Lexmarks, they have a picture on the screen you'll see either customer, customer support uh, with a, a person uh, pictured there like this one is uh, colored in red uh, some of the newer machines uh, the, the uh, icon is green but uh, these ones are really easy it's just a matter of pressing the customer support or meter read like say I'll get to another one that shows the meter read and it's just a matter of printing that report right there so you, you can actually see your page count right here but we'll just print it off so that way you can send it into the office so like say any of the the bigger touchscreen Lexmarks will uh, will show that again here's another Lexmark this is a newer uh, this is an XC 4140 um, like say any of the multi-function Lexmarks um, you'll have most cases will have the icon changed and it'll actually say me to read one two three so in that case again same thing it's it's the same app as customer support it's just we've changed the name and the icon and once you go in again your counts are here at the bottom uh, you can just print it here in the top. Okay, so pretty simple on the Lexmarks. Like say the M1145 was probably the little more complicated one. Um, you can still on the other Lexmarks if you don't have a meter reading app or customer support app. Same again, you go into settings, and uh, you can go into reports, and in this machine here under device you'll actually see your asset report right there. So you can still get it that way. It'll do the same thing, okay? Off to Toshiba. <clears throat> On the Toshiba, you've got uh, the um, older series, uh, light-colored Toshibas, and then you have the newer black series Toshibas. Really not a whole lot of difference between them except on the screens. On the Toshiba older series, you'll see the counter one, two, three button. In that button, basically when you press that button, it'll bring up the count on the screen and you'll have print out total counter. So that's how you print out your total counter on these ones. On the newer Toshibas, uh, it's a, a button on the touch screen that says counter. Now, if it's not on the main screen, you might actually have to slide your screen across it might be on the second or third page. So in most cases, it's either going to be on the first or second page. And in that case, the same thing. You press the counter button. Once you go in, there's your printout total counter. So that covers pretty much 90% of the Toshibas. There are some older Toshibas out there. Uh, if you've got one of those older Toshibas and you're not sure how to get the count from, from them, just give the office a call but like say you should see that one two three counter button either a hard physical button or the uh, touch screen button uh, right on the main screens uh, on either location okay and then when it comes to Konica Minolta 
all the Konica Minolta's that we have out there are the same. You can go into the menu button, which will give you, so you'll see your menu button on the side. Once you go into menu, you get your main screen here, just in case you were in copy. So if you're in copy mode like this, just press the menu button. Now you'll see counter right at the top. So once you go into counter, I'll just go back out here. Menu, counter, and you'll see your counter list right there. <clears throat> All you have to do is go print list. Usually just pick a drawer that you want it from and just hit start. So you can use the start key or the start on the touch screen. And that will give you your counter list from your Konica Minolta so you can send it in. And that's it. Just as easy as that. Hope you have a good day.